Okay, so my 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan had an issue with a pipe and I have to do a long trip so I was crawling underneath it there one day and noticed how rusty this was. So I believe it's just a matter of time before it springs a leak and I'd hate for that to do that on that long journey. So anyway for my 3.3 liter it has an oil cooler that's what this pipe is for. Some of them don't. So if you decide that you're going to change yours, make sure you check for this. And it's pretty simple to change. There's a bolt here that goes into the side of the motor at the pulley. Just pull the belt down a little bit, get your socket in there. This one here is really easy to get out. It's just underneath straight up and I'll show you that. And make sure you save all your fluids for your rad. So you gotta unhook this clamp right here, which is actually up here. I gotta still put them in place. And this clamp for the oil cooler goes over here. And uh, it, because it was rusted so bad, I had to shove a screwdriver inside and go all the way around as best I could. And the same with this one. And the bolt I was telling you about is right in there. That's where the bolt is. And the other one is right there. And they have an O-ring on them, so make sure you put some oil on it first and then push it up into place. I will also put oil on these two pipes here so this slides in better. And this is what the new pipe looks like. So I shouldn't have any issues with that anyway. And that's a pretty simple change. Best to be on the safe side. Learn something new every day. And another thing you have to take off is this piece right here. It's a piece of plastic. Makes things easier to get at. And all that's holding that into place is a uh, little, I guess what they call it, plastic Christmas trees. And that's what that looks like right there. And it just shoves into the frame. I've actually got this white strip in place for now to keep it out of the way but that actually goes in place here like that and that Christmas tree actually goes in this hole right here and holds everything in place so it's just something you shove into the hole just like that put some oil on it it'll go a lot easier too it also helps to put it in place and that's all there is to that right there simple and that's my radiator fluid I got left I got a little buddy here that wants to help me out these guys are really like to bite sting so I'll try to stay away from them anyway that's where it's gonna go right in there and what you can't get in there We'll go in the overflow, right here.